All right, what's up, Pisces gang? Empress 777 here today with your almost daily love reading. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I certainly am. Thanks for all the love and support given. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please, what are you waiting for? Do that right now. Do it right now, okay? You will not regret it. I appreciate all the love and support given. We've almost reached 10,000 subscribers. Our, our channel is growing very fast, guys, and I'm so appreciative. All right, so holy angels and spirit guides, give me clear, concise messages for my Pisces. Gang, what do we have for them today? All right, this is going to be a reading of the oracles. So we'll use all oracle cards to look into the energy of this person. All right, and then in our extended, we will take a look at their next steps with tarot, their intentions, and the outcome. We will also look at what is coming towards you in the extended read so that will be linked below for those of you who this resonates with um this is general so it may or may not resonate okay guys take what does leave the rest let me know if it does resonate i love reading you all's comments all right i read them all i'm always thoroughly entertained and appreciative okay so let's dig right in we're going to start with the kipper deck see what we have here I hope it's not too messy, guys. <laughs> Let's see what we got. All right, spirit. Little card. All right. I say one, they say two. You know what? I give. All right. So we have community and we have courtship. All right. Uh, okay, guys. I don't know. <laughs> now look. I'm gonna try to keep this positive. If I'm just looking at this card by by itself, then I get the energy of you really tapping into those who are about you okay who want to see you win those who are here for you supportive of you so family friends um keeping a, a close-knit tight circle of those who you really trust and who you can really count on right and being a being a village for one another is the energy that i get out of this card this is courtship this is dating this is somebody wanting to to date you, get to know you, um, not necessarily be in a relationship though. It's a newer type of energy, but together, I don't like it together guys. Okay. So just correct me if I'm wrong together. I read this as somebody who is for the streets. All right. It is a courtship. It is somebody who is interested. It is somebody who, um, has feelings and can see longevity with you, but they still, want to lay it low and spread it wide. They still want to run the streets. They still want to entertain other options. They still want to be a whoremonger, okay? They still want to hoe around. So what good is that going to do for us, right? Like, <clears throat> why would I ever keep something like that in my energy? I can have the whole shebang. I can have what I want. I don't have to settle for this. So I, I, I don't know, guys. I really don't. So we have this could be the one. Yeah, so this is definitely somebody who feels the energy and feels the intense connection between the two of you, but they still wish to do F-boy and F-girl shit, okay? This is non-committal type of energy that I'm getting, guys, all right? So the want and the willpower to actually solidify things is lacking, all right, this is somebody who wants their cake and eat it too. They want to have courtship and they want to be for the streets too, okay? So community D, all right? <laughs> community poom poom, that's what this is. That's what this is. This is someone who wants the best of both worlds and they expect you to stay around for their antics because they love you. <laughs> really? Okay, okay. I don't know, Pisces. I am not with this shit. Nope, I'm not with it. I'm not. Yeah, they expect you to entertain them because of the love. You know, people get that word really confused. I don't really care how much I love you. Okay? You can get you can get my ass to kiss, my silence, um the knife of me cutting off this relationship. That can come at any time. Okay? Whether I love you or not. So I I really don't understand. I don't understand guys i don't if i don't understand I, I definitely know you like girl what you what kind of boat you think i'm in <laughs> okay i'm in the shit how about that all right let me see what we got here yeah love affair so this is somebody who is really this is ugh, they're so messy guys okay 
dirty little secret. So this is someone who, who definitely is treating this as, you know, let's go with the flow. I'll see what happens. Um, I don't really want to put a title on things. I'm not, why do we have to do that? You know, it messes stuff up. Why do we have to, you know, put a, a, a title on this? Okay. As long as we know what it is, that's this kind of energy. And you're like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to show you what we are. I'm going to show you what we are in two seconds. Give me a minute. Yeah, so we have meeting two or more. Guys, you cannot make this storyline up. I'm getting angry. <laughs> I'm getting mad. Why are they playing like this? I, I just don't like this at all. So I get the idea that this is somebody who came in talking a great one guys they were saying a lot of the right shit that's the only reason why they were able to penetrate your energy for so long and get in so deep because you didn't see this you didn't see these characteristics straight off they were not at the forefront okay there is emotion there is attraction there is chemistry but this is someone it says two or more this is why i'm angry because we have so many cards referencing third party but they know that you're it. Like, hello. Oh, man. So I get the idea that this is someone who thinks that they have time. Okay? I don't know. You tell me, Pisces. How much time they got? <laughs> oh, my gosh. How much time do they have? Because I think they're confused. I think they're confused. They're confused. They don't even know that the clock doesn't exist. All right? Damn, y'all. Yo. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody who feels like they have time to kind of play around, do what they want, you know, deal with other people. And then they can still come back to the one that they consider their soulmate. Oh, there it is. All right, then. You've already entirely disconnected yourself from this person. It is really shocking them. Yeah, right? Because I just said they thought that they had time, guys. They didn't know that time had run out that quick. They had no idea. Very, very um, non-self-aware type of person. They are not aware. They don't have self-awareness. They do not... <clears throat> They do not really analyze and view the big picture of things. They don't really see it from your perspective. You're like, duh, girl, that's why we're here. I know, but I'm just saying. Look, I'm speaking the obvious, I know, but that is really why they thought that they had so much time to just F around. Wow. <laughs> Settle for what? That's you. Okay? So if you know that I'm the one, then what the hell are we really doing here? Okay, where the fuck is my ring? Why do we not have a title on this? Why do you not want to be clear and have conversations about your intentions? Why are you keeping things hidden and being secretive and, you know, just doing real effed up stuff if you know that I'm the one? You know what? You don't even have to answer that. I no longer need your effing answers. I have all the answers that I need. And they never, they never thought that this day would come, guys. Yeah, it's definitely in regards to commitment. You cannot make this up. So you were definitely dealing with a commitment phobe, all right? Somebody who certainly knew what they had, guys. Let's, n let's not mistake that. Let's be very clear. They, they knew who you were to them, but they just felt like they had more time. They cannot believe that they've run out of time. Okay, they, okay, I'm just hearing this intuitively. They may still believe that they have not run out of time, guys. <laughs> oh my God, they're delusional. This person is delusional. It's a delusional character, guys. That's what we're dealing with. Now I know. Because I was definitely confused. I'm like, sir, ma'am, bruh, sis, if I can see all of your F shit come out in just these few cards, there's no way that you don't know this. There's no way that you, you don't see this. They are delusional, guys. Okay? They're living in their own little fantasy world. They are. They are. This person lives out life like it's a fantasy. Literally. Without regard to, to people that they may hurt. Okay? They may not even know the length at which they have hurt you, okay? They they do not know, guys. They don't. They don't know the length at which they have destroyed this connection. 
So this delusional character actually thinks that there's still a chance. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Pisces. I mean, it's almost sad, okay? The lack of common sense that we have here. Um, they are not self-aware guys. They, they do not know what's going on. They don't. They don't. And they still think that there's a chance. Now look, it's free will. For some of you, there very well may be, but I uh, just gotta go with what I feel intuitively. And I don't feel that. I do not feel that, okay? I feel like they have walked into, they walked on a, um, what is it called, spirit? <laughs> a mine? Yeah, like a bomb, like they stepped on it, okay? And it just blew up in their face. They never saw it coming. I mean, me and you, we both saw it coming, but this is a delusional motherfucker that you're dealing with. So they didn't see. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. So what I read most out of this card is I do feel like this person is extremely delusional, okay? They're living out a movie or something, guys. They're not in reality like you and I. Okay, let's just let that sink in for a moment. They are not a realistic individual. They are definitely self-absorbed. They definitely live life on their own terms and they live out their fantasies and they, you know, finagle and F off life as they go. Okay, this is not a responsible type of person. They don't have much stability at all. And what they want is, what they wanted was for you to be flexible with that. <laughs> meet you halfway okay they wanted you to meet them halfway yeah like you have to accept me like this this is just the way that I am this is the way that I've always been you know um isn't it enough that I love you no no, no absolutely not absolutely not it's not okay first of all what is love? Because you're not realistic, okay? You're not living in the same world that me and Empress are living in. You're not You're not living in reality, sir, ma'am. You are not, okay? You're living in reality TV. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. They're living out a reality TV show and really thinking that this will bring about the results that they want. And it's really biting them in the ass, guys. Yep. <laughs> Look. Sunglasses. Mm -hmm. They wear rose-colored tinted glasses. They do not see things clearly like, like normal. They do not. They do not. Watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So they are currently trying to figure out if you're still there. <laughs> okay? They haven't heard anything. It's complete silence. I even feel the silence. It's complete silencio. And they're trying to figure out if you're still in the atmosphere. They cannot feel you. <laughs> oh my God. You're like, girl, tell them I'm in outer space. Okay, yeah. They, they live in, in a delusional world anyway. Tell them I live on Pluto. Tell them I live on Mars. Like, fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I will not tell them that. I will not. I will not. Yeah, look. See, we have I like you. This person is completely bonkers, guys. You almost can't be, okay, I won't speak for you. I was gonna say, but don't beat me up, that you almost can't be like entirely angry because this is an individual who, who definitely does not realize the error of their ways. Um, but that gives them no excuse to come in effing up people's lives and people's energy but they are not doing it intentionally, okay, is what I'm stating. It's not like they're like, oh, look at Pisces here. You're fine. You're you're bad. You know, let me just kind of F with you a little bit. No, this is how they would have operated, whether it was you or another person or another person or another person. And that's how they do. That is how they are. Oh my God. See, because we have, I like you. So this person is definitely not seeing the reality of what this is now. You are gone. You have left the building. You have left the planet. <laughs> You're not there. And they still don't get that. They're still talking about some they like you. What the, who are you? What alternative universe are you living in? Yeah. 
So they still want to bring forth this like fun loving energy, this courtship type of energy. This is the kind of person that will come back like nothing ever happened, you know, like they never effed up. They just want to start over like it never happened. They don't want to discuss it. They don't want to take accountability. They just want to start right where you left off. That's this kind of person. See, we have date. Yeah. So I don't know what you're going to do with this, uh, Pisces. This person is really blowing my mind. They are. It's a very unrealistic type of individual, okay? It is some very unhealthy traits that they have. These are traits that they do not realize that they have. They are extremely delusional and they thought that you would be flexible with them on that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, they're stupid. Okay, all right, look, that's what I got. If it's resonated, definitely tell me down below. Click that like button so that we can kind of rotate around this platform evenly. Come on over with me to the extended because I just cannot wait to see. Like, I already have an idea because of how delusional this person is. What they might be doing next, we're going to take a look at their next steps, okay? Their true intentions. That's what's really important because I think that the anger comes so easily, but I just don't feel like a a person who was trying to harm you or stab you or hurt you purposefully. It's just kind of how they go about life. They're very selfish. They don't think about other people. So we're going to take a look at their true intentions, okay? What they're going to do coming in next, what the potential outcome is, and we're going to also look at what's really coming towards you, okay? New, 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 all right? So it's going to be linked down below, guys. Love you so much. See you next time. Bye.